All right, looks like we've got a good connection and we are now live. So uh, what I did here is uh, I took my uh, sort of template that I have at Gaziantep uh, to put an F-16 here where we'll be able to go attack a few targets using the new uh, ANAQ-33, uh, commonly known as the sniper pod, but I guess ED can't call it that, so they call it like the advanced targeting pod. <laughs> In any case, uh, here uh, what I did is uh, on the, the, the first waypoint I've positioned like a man pads with a few tents that's going to be our first target that we will attack with a JSO. Then I've put uh, ZSU-23, which is not right on the waypoint, but close to it. So we'll use uh, the targeting pod to get uh, right on the target. And then we'll try to fire a Maverick at that target. And then I've put in a building here, a hangar that we can bomb. It's got a few trucks and troops around it that it's going to probably do some secondaries when we fire at it so it's going to be fun to watch on the targeting pod and then I've positioned a group of uh, two T-55s and two BMP-1s with some uh, infantry units around it where we will be able to drop a dumb bomb, a CBU-97 that yes it does have intelligent munitions in it but uh, it's really a free fall bomb so you can still target those with a targeting pod. So I'll have like four different uh, types of attack that I'm going to perform for this little tryout mission. So this is my plane here. I've put the, the simulation in active pause. And so uh, I took a skin I don't use very often. <laughs> and as you can see, I've got a variety of weapons on the plane. On this side here, I've got the JSO and the CBU-97. And on the other side, I have a GBU-12 and a Maverick that I'll be able to fire at the ZSU. And here is the new star of uh, this patch, the uh, advanced targeting pod, the sniper pod. Um, from uh, my previous test with it, uh, I've only flown uh, once with this. Um, what I found is that compared to the lightning pod, in some cases it looks like it's a little bit less precise and in others I guess it has a few features the other one doesn't. I still think the lightning pod offers a cleaner picture and for most of the uses that you, you make of a targeting pod uh, it might seem a bit cleaner but to be historically accurate for some planes it's gonna be nice to have that. So I'm, I'm kinda happy that we have it on this plane bit disappointed it won't be on the Hornet. They've explained that their particular version of the Hornet doesn't mimic like uh, a Canadian one. It's like the uh, uh, Marines and uh, US Navy version and they didn't have that pod. But uh, the, the Canadian Hornets actually use this particular pod and so that's why I would have liked to see it there too. In any case, we have it for the F-16, so we're going to go have a look at it. So right now my, my sim is in active pause, so I can set up a few things. So we'll go in the air-to-ground mode. We'll turn on the power for our JSOs. And then here we're going to make sure that we put this in pre-mode for the, uh, the Mavericks. And then this is in CCIP, we're going to switch to CCRP, so that way we'll use the targeting pods uh, lock to be able to uh, drop the bomb. And for the uh, GBU, we're going to do the same thing, CCRP. Now, my GBU, I, I left it on the default code, so I, I could still go check here, but... Uh, for the laser, the code is 1688, and that's the, co the code I have in the bomb. So I know it's going to work, so we don't have to worry too much about that. So we'll be starting with the JSO, which is going to be the target that we have at steer point 1. And so what we can do here, since we're in active pause, we can choose what we want, and then we can go to the targeting pod. So right now the pod is not SOI. So I guess one of the first things we could do is actually set it as our sensor of interest. I've noticed the image shakes a little bit. Maybe I could get out of active pause, see if the shake goes away. <laughs> so 
So hopefully that's going to work okay. We'll just put the autopilot on. And one of the ways that we can zoom is with this button here. We're in TV mode right now. And so we can click it once, twice, and then another time like this. And does that help to get a better image? Okay, that's going to be probably the best image we can get. Just going to try again just for fun. There we go. In XR, you get a little bit of a better image. And now I can move the camera around, but on the waypoint, we can see there are some tents. And this is really where we want to target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, target management switch and go forward on it which creates an area and if I hold it forward I think it's going to try to get a point track on this anyways we do have a lock now which looks good enough uh, and we can see there are some trucks the tents and the infantry so those are the, the ones that we want to hit and we can see that we are in range for our JSO so let's just fire the weapon away there we go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to the next waypoint. And I'm going to try to uh, get a lock on the um, ZSU that's there. As you can see, it's pretty easy to spot. And I'm going to lock that. And then here, I'm going to go on the weapon page of my Maverick. So what I'll do is I'll position the nose of the plane towards the target. I'm trying to see my range. I'm still 13 miles. I'm going to get the autopilot off. I'm going to put the nose on this here. And then we'll go attitude hold, something like this. We'll uh, refine our lock. And then here, we see that we don't have a lock yet we're still at about 10 miles so we'll wait a little longer while we're at it I'll turn on my helmet display there we go okay so go back sensor of interest on the pod just lock this see what it does there it still doesn't lock so we go back to the pod now we should be able to probably get a lock Let's just position the nose towards the target, lock this up, and now do I have a possible lock there? I think so. Rifle. And so we're going to move away here. A few countermeasures. And there was a little explosion there. And I'm going to check the other weapon, which should be getting close to its target now. I'm just going to make sure that my plane is not going to be in a position where it's going to crash itself. <laughs> and let's go back to this. There we go. And we're going to zoom on this. This is the position we're trying to hit with the JSO. And we can see that it's starting to blow up. And so I think we took care of that. All right, very nice. So the next uh, steer point that I have is for the building. So what I'll do is I'll set to steer point three. And I go to our weapon selection and we're gonna choose our laser guided bomb. So if I check here, the target is behind us somewhere in that village. So we'll turn autopilot off turn around so 
to about 11 miles out. I'm just going to give it a little bit of afterburner to gain some speed. Try to center on a drop line and then set the autopilot for altitude hold. And as you can see, it's not quite on the target here. We're going to make it sensor of interest. If we do uh, this like that, we have something that's more right on the hanger there. We can decide to refine it a little bit more. And now we have a point target. And so we'll be almost ready to drop. Let's turn the laser on and hit the pickle button. bombs away. You can see the bomb falling. And we're going to start the laser. Hmm. I have my switch on. I don't see the little laser thing flashing. It worked fine earlier. Why is it not working now? Okay, now it is. We can see that the L is flashing. And we have a hit. All right, so I guess it was in an automatic mode this time. And I don't know if we can zoom out a bit. We were a bit too zoomed in to uh, see the nice special effects, but you can see that there's a, a lot burning in that sector. I don't know if uh, we turn around, we'll probably see that, yeah, there's a big fire there. So that worked out well. So our last target at waypoint four is going to be uh, those tanks uh, and BMPs. So we're going to be using our CBU-97 for this one. And this one is not guided, so it's just going to be free fall. So our last bomb here on the jet, it just falls off the jet, spins and drops its uh, intelligent munitions. And it should drop somewhere close to that square over there in between the two uh, air defense positions we took out earlier, the man pads and AAA. So now we should be safe going in. Now for this, I don't want to drop it from too high because I, I want it to uh, have the opportunity to be able to uh, be fairly precise because it's just a free fall weapon. So let's zoom in. Yeah, we see in this area we have these uh, these tanks and BMPs. So I'm just going to again lock that point and that's going to be what we're going to drop our weapon on. So I'll try to lower my altitude to maybe, I don't know, 7,000 feet, something like that. Then we'll level out. Still want the bomb to be able to uh, release its submunitions and everything. So there we go. Bombs away. I'm gonna turn this to cat one. And I guess if I play with that a little bit, we'll be able to zoom out. go we'll see a little bit better when it hits or we could just check our oops wrong button there we go let's check this instead there we go we've got our tanks right there so maybe our bomb went a little bit long but there are still some submunitions hitting the tanks yeah. So that's what I was saying when I said I don't like dropping them too high. Because it's a free fall bomb. It does have those intelligent munitions, but if I had dropped it maybe just a little bit lower, maybe at 5,000, could have been a little bit more precise. But yeah, so that's typical use of the sniper pod. I wanted to test it with different types of weapons and it's a bit similar to the operation of the lightning pod, but there are some differences. 
I'll have to uh, maybe explore uh, the multi-targeting possibilities that you can have with it that's different from uh, the lightning but uh, yeah you can shoot various weapons like JSOs, Mavericks, laser guided weapons and uh, free fall bombs with this no problem so it wasn't a very long flight but it was just a try out what, what we got uh, in the new patch so hopefully you enjoyed it cool handout just gonna pause this and exit here and we will end the stream.